Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Next One's Network. I'm Official Romp, and this is the first installment of Sideline Stories, basically where I give a backstory on a player who deserves more attention. And the first player we're going to be focusing on is someone known as Antoine Davis, who had a crazy freshman season. What if I told you he broke the record of Steph Curry for most three-pointers in the season, which was previously 122? But he himself, Antoine Davis, had 132. But the crazy thing is, most of you guys watching this video have no idea who he is. But luckily, I am here to fix that. And it turns out he has had a crazy journey, a crazy upbringing. So without further ado, we're going to get right into it. So currently, Antoine is playing at a school known as Detroit Mercy. And the crazy thing is his father known as Mike Davis, is actually the coach. But before we get into his career at Detroit Mercy, we gotta back it up a bit. And I mean, back it up a lot a bit. Because his father, Mike Davis, is kind of like a mad scientist. And Antoine is kind of like the experiment. Now you're probably like, what are you talking about? And you're probably asking yourself, is this kid on drugs? The answer is no. But what I mean by he was a scientist is that he read a book known as The Talent Code. And the premise of that book is that greatness is not a divine gift, but rather the result of relentless practice. And after reading that book, that is when the idea clicked in Mike Davis's head that he was going to apply that concept on his own son, Antoine Davis. So what he did was he put his son through homeschooling, his mother taught him, and also he hired a trainer known as John Lucas. Now John Lucas was in the NBA for 14 years, and then after that he became a trainer, he became well known, and during the summer he hosts like pickup games where NBA players would come like DeAndre Jordan and JaVale McGee, and Antoine Davis would actually compete in those games as a young kid. But when he was not playing pickup, he was in the gym grinding, getting up shots, working on his ball handling, working on his skills, not so much strength wise, but his skills. Keep that in your head because we're going to use that in the future. But anyway, his father said that one time he got up 10,000 shots in one day and it is mandatory for him to shoot 3,000 shots every day. And if he doesn't, I don't know what happens, but pray for Antoine. But like I said early on in Antoine Davis's life, he was not so much focused on his strength per se. He was much more focused on his skills. And his father said in an interview, we're doing this in reverse. Most kids have size and strength, get drafted on that and have to build skills. Antoine has the skills. Now he needs to build the size and strength. I know which position I'd rather be in. And Mike Davis's plan worked out very well. Antoine had the skills. He had everything a college could want except his size. And that is ultimately why he was doubted and wasn't really recruited whatsoever. And another reason why he wasn't really recruited is because he only played AAU. He did not play high school. So I think that really played a part in why he wasn't really highly recruited. But also, of course, he was only 155 pounds coming into his freshman year. But with all that being said, he did attract attentions from schools known as Oakland and Houston. Antoine said in an interview, I was really ready to go to Oakland at one point to be honest and then I waited out a little longer and got a Houston offer and I committed there since I was living there. But if you guys were paying attention, you would know that he did not end up at Houston because he eventually found out that his dad got the job at Detroit Mercy and he wanted to be coached by his father so he ended up going there for his freshman season. And it turns out he had an absolutely insane freshman season. I'll just put his stats on the screen. But anyway, his problem now is gaining weight. And luckily, he has focused on that all this offseason. His father has said that he took in 5,000 calories a day this summer. And also, he's been drinking a lot of protein shakes, a lot of milk 
just building that muscle because that's really his only problem and if he gets some muscle this dude is going to be insane let me tell you that but anyway this this guy deserves way more attention than he gets hopefully you enjoyed the video and if you did leave a like and subscribe on the next one's channel and if you want more videos from me check out my main channel it's known as official romp 2.0 anyway i'll see you guys later have a great day peace out davis it's been a while since davis it's been a while since he scored gets rid of his